Hi guys and welcome. Today we have a shootout between two carbon fiber materials. So we have Color Fabs CF20 or I should say XC C CF20. It's the uh, co-polyer uh, carbon fiber infused material. On the other side we have the protopasta high temperature PLA uh, carbon fiber of course uh, and we're gonna do them more or less um, show them together which one is the easiest to use and the, the best one. So I'm not gonna do any strength test because I don't have any equipment for that and I'm, I'm gonna use the data available online. So let's go through the testing. Uh, we used a few different machines. Here you can see I'm loading into loading the color fab material into the MakerBot Replicator 2X. Um, here we're running the color fab material at the FlashWatch Pioneer, which is a PLA printer. Uh, the result is uh, a, bit, a bit worrying. Um, so we're just running the color fab material here uh, through a few machines. Uh, we tried the materials on the Replicator 2, Replicator 2X, FlashWorks Finder, FlashWorks Dreamer. Um, I think we did some tests in the 6 as well. Um, so we have both heated machine and unheated machines. Um, so you can see the protopasta has been run into the uh, FlashWorks Dreamer, um, printing on, on the paper state. So on to the results. Um, but in, in my experience in general, I find that the um, protopasta materials is much easier to use. I guess it's that mostly because it's more common to PLA, which most machines have a good preset for. The um, um, color fab materials is a little bit more difficult, uh, but it still works really good, uh, really, really good. I feel that it's, it could be a little bit stronger. Um, compared to the, the protopasta, but I'm not sure about that. It's just just a feeling. All the parts that I've done for the, the camera rig has been really, really strong, and I don't really see any difference in them, except for when it comes to printing. So for example, the uh, the boat here, the 3D Benchy, the benchmarking test for printers. Um, I've been printing on a few different printers. I've been printing on FlashForge, on MakerBots, um, even uh, on some machines that don't really handle um, other materials than PLA. So overall, um, when you look at the models, you can see that the, the um, protopasta material is much easier to use. I mean, the, the settings are more or less the same as general PLA. When it comes to the um, uh, color fabs material, it requires a little bit of tweaking. You should probably go up to around 250 degrees Celsius in, in uh, the printer head while the uh, color fab can stay around 220, 230, uh, at least as my tests. Um, so as you can see, I've, I've, d I've done a lot of the prints. I'm not getting it to be really perfect. I've done it in PT uh, extruders, in all metal extruders. So uh, I guess it's up to uh, tweaking a little bit. Uh, I know that people are getting really good results with it uh, when it comes to, for example, in Ultimaker machines. So I guess that as usual, ColorFab Ultimaker goes kind of good together. Um, so I'm guessing that I could use this in three millimeter or 2.85 and use that in the Ultimakers instead of, of uh, the 1.75 millimeters. So you should probably get some good results. Um, other than that, the finish, uh, I think is, is uh, um, you can see the difference here on some close-ups. Uh, the PLA is, a few percent is more shiny, but other than that, they're really, really equal. And when it comes to detailing, I believe that the um, co-poly uh, or the, the color fab material is a little bit more matte. It fuses uh, in together. Uh, on my prints, I should probably have maybe increased the uh, uh, extrusion rates like 1%, maybe 2% on the uh, material. Uh, but again, the just prints smoothly. I printed probably half a kilo and it's, uh, it just runs out smoothly. It uh, doesn't need a stainless steel nozzle. The uh, color fab kind of wears out the nozzles. I've had a, a few clogs in Replicator 2s. Um, yeah, we, we have an all metal um, Replicator 2X modified. And within that, kind of destroyed the nozzles after a while or, or it clogged much more. Easy, uh, much more. 
so I had some issues with it. Again, it's a really good material. Um, it's just more settings that you need to tweak. You have to remember that the plastics are not exactly the same. It's not 100% um, PLA in ColorFab compared to the uh, Protopasta version. So, with that said, um, for my shootouts, I think I have a winner, but it's up to you. Uh, what are you, your experience with the materials? Have you tried both of them? Are you a ColorFab fan or are you a Protopasta fan? Or yeah, let me know. If you have any questions about the materials, the settings, of course, um, can be shared. Just let me know, give it a, th a thumbs up and a like, and what else is there? Yeah, comments. Stay subscribed, come on, I'm, there's a bunch of fun movies. So, uh, with that said, have a great day, see you later, bye.